Good afternoon, everybody. Pray be to the Lord. Now and forever. forever. Okay, guys, we're going to finish the topic for this week in grammar that is um, uh, the mechanics to write a title of writing titles, right? We're going to finish with the topic. Uh, it's the same topic for all the week, actually. And we're going to finish to do the exercises from the book. Right, um, so please, I will share with you something important that is about how to write italics and underlining. Hello, Grant. Hello, Paige. Hi, David. So, Paige, have you ever heard of this man, Aldous Minutius? I don't think I have. That's pretty cool name, though. His, his, uh, his given name was actually Aldo Minutio. Uh, that's where the italic typeface comes from, is this guy, all this minutious. This is how we use it today. 
You can learn anything. Give it out. See ya. Hello, Marian. Sorry Hello. about the noise, but some some things that happen actually right. to the conventions around punctuating titles so that you know how exactly whether you're supposed to use quotation marks or underlining and balance, etc. So when we think about titles, there are a lot of different kinds of titles you're going to be working with. So you might have books, which is the impetus for this particular video at this point. You'll also want to cite chapters in books, articles in journals and magazines, and that will come later in the semester, newspaper articles, essays, poems, songs, plays, television series, there might be an entire series you're citing or a particular episode in that, film, short stories, commercials, web pages, and blogs. And these are some of the many different types of works that you would want to cite. And so you need to know, what do I do with them? So the question you might ask is, do I use quotation marks? Do I use underlining or do I use italics? The basic principle is this, if it's a short text that you are creating, or a part of a whole, you're going to use quotation marks. If something that you are citing is a longer text, like a book, you would use italics. And the exception to that would be if you are not, it's not possible to use italics, then you can underline. Like in a handwritten document, you might have to have a separate font for your hand that creates italics. So in that case, you would just underline to show that this would be italicized if your hand actually did italics. So some examples of this more specifically, use quotation marks for these types of very short works. Poems, if you're citing something that is a poem, use quotation marks for the title of that poem. Use quotation marks for the titles of short stories. Quotation marks for songs or articles from newspapers, magazines, web pages, or a chapter in a book. If you read more than slides and you want to refer to a specific chapter, use quotation marks around the title of that chapter. Some examples here for you. A poem. You might use quotation marks around Dulce e Decorica by Wilfred Owen. That was the war poem somebody read. Or a song. One of our students introduced this song, Hero of War, into a discussion. Again, it's a shorter work, so you're going to use quotation marks. And a chapter in a book. If you're reading Lord of the Flies, and your chapters actually have titles, Gift of the Darkness from Chapter 8, the Lord of the Flies would be in quotation marks. For longer works, for example, books, you're going to use italics. You would also use italics if you have a collection of shorter works, like an anthology or a CD that can help contain multiple songs. Novels and books, plays, a television series that is a collection of individual episodes, titles of newspapers or magazines, an anthology that might contain lots of poems or short stories, CDs, encyclopedias or collections of works. Some examples on these. Your book, and this is at the most immediately relevant point, your book should be in italics. The title of a newspaper or magazine, again, this is a collection of a lot of different articles, the Washington Post or Smithsonian. A television series like Game of Thrones. So let's take a moment and look at which words we capitalize within that. And know that there are different conventions around this, but there are some general principles. Generally, you capitalize the first word of the title and the last word of the title. And the principal words, those would be the important words. If you look at it from a grammatical perspective, that would be your nouns and pronouns, your adjectives and adverbs, your helping verbs and your verbs, basically the words that have content to them. And the subordinating conjunctions, fancy word for words like even though, although, after, before, during. Uh, those types of words. And you do not typically uh, capitalize words that are prepositions, words like in, 
end of a nerve with or very short words, words that are fewer than, say, three letters. So the advanced level on this, if you want to get into all the nitty gritty, you can go to this website, um, Grammar Girls, and go on to the podcast. And what she says is the most important thing is to be consistent. And this is the website that you can check out. But again, get the most important content words, the first and the last, and you don't necessarily have to capitalize the smaller words and prepositions. So some practice here for you. Take a moment. Pause the video and ask yourself if you would know how to uh, punctuate these titles. And these are the answers. For a book, Kite Runner, you would definitely put that in italics. For a chapter from your book, like Chapter 1, Miracles, in the notebook, you would use quotations around the title of the chapter and italics for the long book. For a play, the importance of being earnest, you would use italics. And for a poem, such as Still I Rise by Maria Angelou, um, you would use a, a quotation mark around that, that's a shorter work. How about some of the punctuation of the titles uh, vis a vis capitalization? How would you capitalize and punctuate these titles? Once again, pause the video, take a moment, and see if you know how to do that. And let's look at the answers for those. To Kill a Mockingbird is a book. It is going to be italicized. To Kill a Mockingbird 2 is a shorter word, but it's the first word, so you're going to capitalize that. This shorter word here is typically not capitalized, but the other important principal words are. The Fire, Chapter 2 in Hiroshima by John Hersey. This is a chapter title, and so it's going to be in quotation marks. The is the first word gets capitalized. Hiroshima is a book, longer work, and so it's italicized. Frankenstein is a book by Mary Shelley, capital word, single word, Frankenstein. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. The is the first word. Um, in is a smaller word in the context of it. Our is a smaller word, but it's an important word because it conveys the idea that this is multiple people, two important people interacting. So these words are all going to be capitalized, and the whole thing is going to be in italics. Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, also a book, so it's going to be in italics. Narrative is the first word, Douglass is the last. The smaller words in the middle do not need to be capitalized, but the important words are life, narrative, first. That's the content. If you need more resources, these are a couple of great places to check out and see there's some variations of this and some smaller details for particular kinds of works. But hopefully this has given you an overview of the basics of capitalizing and punctuating titles. Okay guys, so just watching the last part of um, our topic of the writing titles, we have to know, actually, We have to know the title um, the title is the name given to a creative work. We already know that. Writers follow special rules for capitalization letters at the beginning of words and titles. Also use italics in many cases. The first and the last word of the title always begin with a capital letter. Most other words begin, begin with capital letters too. However, articles, coordinated, coordinated conjunctions, and short prepositions never begin with capital letters unless they are the first or the last word of the title. So, what are you going to do? Let's go to work on page number 273. You repeated the page because I don't hear you by the noise. Huh? 
Can you repeat the page? I didn't hear the page by the page name. Page number 272. Write the following titles using the proper capitalization from one to five and from six to eight, you have to identify the titles in the sentence below and write them in the using proper capitalization and punctuation. Work people. Page? 273, I said. guys work hey Dylan is missing who else Juan Diego Everybody's finished the homework. I finished my star. Very, very good. I finished, mister. Very, very good.
My penis missed the... I finish. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we have you here the mechanics of writing, right? As I told you, a title is the name uh, given to a creative work. No, I don't think so. Well, all the words can be created, actually. Writers follow special rules for capitalization or for capitalizing at the beginning of words in titles. The first and the last words of a title always begin with a capital letter. Most of the words begin with capital letters. Uh, however, articles coordinating conjunctions and short prepositions never begin with capital letter, right? Unless they are the first or the last word in the title. For example, the boy could run for goal and glory. Let's see, number one. Uh, Felix, read it. Number one. Living on a desert island and... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Living on a desert island. What letters do you have to capitalize in that? Uh, living. Ah, what else? There is three words you have to capitalize in there. Living, desert, and island. Very good. Island, uh, mister, is the, is the pronunciation. Island. Very good. Excellent. Number two, Valeria. The girl who loved to ride in the hills. Uh -huh. The girl who loved to ride in the hills. The girl who loved to ride in the hills. Which words do you have to capitalize the first letter? Dash. Uh -huh. Girl. Uh -huh. Loved. Right uh -huh. and, uh, and he was only still missing one. That is one who, who? girl, Here. it's another one. Who is the other one? Who? Loved, ride, and heels. Good, excellent. Number three, Ricardo. Number three, Ricardo. I can listen to you. Now, this gonna be now. This gonna be your phone. I can listen to you. No, nothing. Talk without the earphone. Earphone. Yeah, Mister. Ah, easy. Talk. No, Ricardo. No, uh, nothing. ¿Con qué estás? ¿Con computadora, con tablet o celular? Computadora. Subile el volumen. Mister. Okay, let's try to win another student. Uh, Jose Manuel. Number three. Yes, number three. Racing against the, one, the wind and rain. Okay, racing against the wind and rain. Which words do you have to capitalize? Racing uh -huh. against uh -huh. wind uh -huh. and rain. And okay. rain. Very good, excellent. Number four, Kimena.
Jimena. 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 Andrea, read number four. In the land of the tallest trees. In the land of the tallest trees, which word do you have to capitalize? In land tallest trees. Very good. In land tallest trees. Very good. Number five, Emily. Raising champion horses. horses. Very good. Raising champion horses. Which words do you have to capitalize? Raising uh -huh. horses. Raising champion Chandler. horses, yes. The all three, the words. All the words all you have to. The three. The, yes, the three words you have to capitalize. Let's see the next one. Identify the titles in the sentence below and write them using the proper capitalization and punctuation. Number six, Fatima. After I read the book, Partner in Adventure, I want to get a horse. Okay, after I read a book, Partners in Adventure, I want to get a horse. What is the title? Partner in Adventure. Okay, very good. Partners in Adventure is the number, is the title. Number seven, Karim. The poem will that to crack game me the chills. Okay, the poem when the thunder cracks gave me the chills. What is the title? Thunder cracks. Ah, when the thunder cracks, and what thing do you have to use in there? What things do you have to use in there? Somebody? Capitalization. Yes, we have to capitalize. Yes, of course. What else? Punctuation. About punctuation. What, pun, what punctuation? Mark? Flequita, flequita, no sé cómo se llama. Apostrophe. Quotation marks. Quotation marks. Flequitas. Ok. Let's see the last one. I read a short story about horses. Let's see, uh, Cesar, read it. A short story about horses in the book titled. Okay. Of the I West. read a short story about horses in the book Tales of the Wild West. Where is the number eight? What is the title? The Wild West. Something is missing in there. Ed. Loto la oración. All the, what is the title? Oh. Ah. Oh, Horses in the book I know. Of, of What is the title of that sentence? Because Tales of the Wild West. <laughs> Tales of the Wild West. That is the title. Who that is, is the title. Who sleeps? Jimena. No, Jimena is in here. I don't know who's living. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, remember, homework, spelling, PowerPoint, and you only have to add the uh, audio. Okay, to the slide. It's only one slide you have to create, right? It's only one slide you have to create. Oh, you have one to minute or more. One more Can than I one. Make two? More than one minute. If you have to put in on 30 minutes in there, put. Okay? Yeah. If you want to record 50 minutes in that audio, record. Okay? But I don't want audios less than one minute, right? That is one. The second one. All the homeworks for this week are for Friday at the midnight. Okay? 
all the homeworks are for Friday midnight. Three, enter to imagine learning and finish the playlist. Many of you didn't finish yet. And many finish. of you, many of you didn't enter yet. So I need you to finish the playlist, number three. Okay. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Okay, guys, um, see you tomorrow at, uh, there is something. If some of you, wait, wait, wait. If some of you is in the WhatsApp group, please, please out because the WhatsApp group is only for parents, right? If any, if any of you are yes, in, the, in the WhatsApp group, and, and I think you still, if any of you still in the WhatsApp group, please out of there because it's the only four parents okay see you tomorrow bye bye take care make your assignments people bye, have Mr. a nice day bye 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 boy mister yes ask tomorrow yes tomorrow you you no. really have no. classes. I will explain it in Spanish. No. Let's hear talk in Spanish. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow. We don't. Uh, you don't have classes tomorrow with Madre Vilma. Yeah. You don't have classes tomorrow. No. Baba boy. Baba. Tomorrow we don't have. We have. If tomorrow with me you only have reading and grammar. You will have Espanol, Sociales, PE. I think PE you have. Yes, I think you have PE for this week. I think. Okay. Let's see. Yes, you have to. You have PE, you have grammar, you have sociales, reading in Espanol. So there is no problem for tomorrow, people. So bye-bye, take care.